Okay friends, let's talk about the types of ecosystem. You know, ecosystem is a huge, uh, a very huge syllabus, you know. There are many different varieties of ecosystem, but it depends on the different parameters with which we are classifying them. So let's let's summarize this uh, as uh, small as we can and let's talk about it a little bit. So let's say, let's say the ecosystem can be divided, I mean classified according to these three different parameters. For example, based on the nature of that ecosystem, we can classify it based on the duration of that ecosystem. We can also classify it based on the size of that ecosystem. So these are the three major parameters which based on which we can divide ecosystem right or classify ecosystem so if you look at that that if we classify it based on the nature of that ecosystem we can divide it into two parts like natural ecosystem and man made or artificial ecosystem and artificial ecosystem is also there right so if you look at the natural ecosystem we will find terrestrial ecosystem aquatic ecosystem that is based on the nature because terrestrial ecosystem means very very common forests, grasslands, deserts, etc. It is completely based on the dry lands, okay, not water report. Aquatic one is completely water contained like marine, like, like you know marine ecosystem like seas, oceans for example. Freshwater ecosystems are also there. Marine ecosystem is salt water ecosystem because sea, oceans they are salty. Freshwater ecosystems like ponds, lakes, rivers, streams, etc. On the other hand, the man-made or artificial ecosystem, example of it like aquariums, crop fields, right, or flower beds. These are very, very. Uh, they might be not as same as the as the ecosystem of nature, nature, but they are also there. They are also ecosystem. You have an aquarium, beautiful aquarium filled with all the different types of, uh, you know, fishes and all. You feed them with different materials that is also an ecosystem it's a man-made or artificial ecosystem based on the duration of the ecosystem we can divide it again in two parts for example temporary ecosystem and permanent ecosystem the temporary ecosystem is example is rain fed uh, ponds right for example uh, there was a huge I mean uh, place remain there a very low place and when we are having rain there rain is feeding onto that uh, hole and pour and actually it creates a pond right and it's also like laboratory culture of microbes you can't forget about all these things these are also ecosystems right and if you look at here the permanent ecosystem the example is forests lake all these terrestrial aquatic these things are permanent ecosystems because they're natural they're permanent right most of the natural ecosystems are permanent and if you look at the ecosystem classification based on the size, we can have again two types, small ecosystems or micro ecosystem and large ecosystem or macro ecosystems. If you look at the small ecosystems, the example is flower pots, logs, bushes, etc. They are very small ecosystem. It's not about the material that is making the ecosystem. It might be the large material that makes small ecosystem, but the ecosystem is small. That means the interactions, the food wave and everything is limited to a very small regions, right? As you can see, flower pots, very small. Large ecosystem, example, oceans, deserts, compressed of huge. So if you look at the natural ecosystem, most of the time they are, they are permanent, permanent and they are they are large so these are the properties of natural ecosystems right so generally in most of the cases if if somebody asks you to tell uh, the classification of ecosystem people say terrestrial aquatic you know uh, these are the major two types of ecosystem people used to go out with okay so that's kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you